Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana army, I'm Latana, and today we're looking at a levelling guide for Fortnite, so this is showing you how to level up in Fortnite Save the World, which is the PvE version. Now I've seen a lot of people playing the game and they're asking me like, what level are you, what level's your character, and Fortnite's not really like that, which led me to believe a lot of people are making a lot of uh, mistakes about levelling. So to put this right, uh, one thing that you've got to learn straight off the bat is that um, a Fortnite is not your typical RPG. So in a typical RPG, you're, you win experience points and you level up your hero and as your hero levels up, the loot that you get or the drops that you get in the area that you're in tend to get better. Whereas Fortnite's not like that. In Fortnite, you level up everything from weapons, traps, squads, defenders, survivors, right down to your actual hero himself. So there's a lot more factors to take in. Uh, with Fortnite and then leveling in Fortnite is very different. So hopefully this guide is going to show you how to level up the whole thing in the right way. Okay, so we start with the hero screen. So if you go to the tabs across the top when you start, uh, you usually start here in play, but if you go to heroes, you'll, you'll notice first is, and this is where a lot of people go wrong, is they think that this bar across the top is their leveling bar and their experience bar. Now it is experience bar, but all this does, it actually gives you skill points. So this awards skill points towards different items that you can spend in like the skill tree and things like that. Now each time this fills up, you don't level up. You get skill points to spend in your skill trees and your research trees, etc and things like that now in the top left you maybe think well this is my level nope that's not your level either that's your power level but it's nothing to do either with your hero so even if you slot a, a low tier hero this won't be affected so if you look in here look so i've got a legendary hero in there but if i put say a blue hero in there now it affects the health and shields but you can see there my home base power is exactly the same so that doesn't move at all we'll just pop jonesy back in there so what it does affect as you can see is your health and your actual shield so you can still do zones in that power level and um, all this really affects is your character perks if i go into upgrade and inspect down here now these are the perks now because he's a legendary obviously these are the extras that i get so i get some extra buffs on there on health uh, shields and things like that small amounts on damage modifiers look 3.93 is tiny and if you go down i can actually get perks going all the way up to level 30 with this guy now if you go back to one of the other heroes and let's just say we put that blue hero back in there again now if you look at the perks for this hero instead for trailblazer quinn and you go down these perks only go up to level let's have a look, level 20 so that's not bad the green some of them only go up to like level 10 12 things like that so as you level up which is here so this you can see trailblazer uh, trailblazer quinn there is level one so of the perks she gets the teddy and the loot llama and that is it so if i level up to level two then i'll also get shock tower as well uh, and i'll get bear with me which increases the duration that the teddy stays behind and you, you level up that way so this is the key bit to look on here so level one of ten now when you get up to max level when you get up to level 10 you can evolve that character but that's for another video altogether what we're looking at right now is how to level the whole shebang up right now so here we go so that is jonesy that's the one we're going to use and you can see there the health bonus and the shield bonus has gone up absolutely massively which is exactly how it should be now if you look at these stats down here you've got fortitude you've got offense you've got resistance and you've got tech now these are you know these are great skills and these are all things that you need but if you look in here so just remember this number here. So Fortitude is 188. If I go to squads, of the 188, 139 of that is coming from my Survivor Squad, which is a massive percentage, you know, of the amount. So you've got 181 from my offense there coming in. So that's 236. My resistance is 257. If you look there, 217. And if you look here, my tech, 161. If you look on there, 126 of that is coming from the squad. So most of your stats will actually come from your squads and how well you set your squads up. Now the first area that it actually um, comes from, if you look in the skill tree, when you're unlocking your skills, you've got skills and you've got research. So if we start off in the skills, and you look on here, this is where you unlock your first survivor squad. So that's just part three in, you know, in squad, in a, that's just part three 
in the first skill tree. So in the first skill tree, as you go on then, then you'll start unlocking more. These are defenders with the little guns, but the actual things, you get a, a squad leader here, look, so a fire team leader there. You get another leader there for the AMT squad. So once you've got all this up, you don't have to fill all this up, but when you are leveling up your skills, I would definitely work towards, you know, getting survivors, because they are what is going to put the, put the meat and bones onto your character and make them the stronger character. Now, this skill's in there as well. Do you know, like, I use this quite a lot. Uh, the Adrenaline Rush, in case you're getting low on energy, you can boost yourself there. You've got the, this is quite a popular one. You've got the Airstrike that's in there as well. But I would definitely always, always, always start looking for, and over the defenders, start looking for these Survivor Squad parties. And if you go to Tier 2... So this is t uh, the tier 2 skill tree, then it gets even bigger, do you know, and if you look on there, you've got absolutely tons uh, of different things, I'll try and zoom out a little bit, there we go. So if you look on there, look, you've got survivors everywhere, that one's a defender, but you've got survivors what you can click on, and you can kind of get them in here, there's one there, look. So if you look, there's another survivor there, so that's another squad one. So these are squads that you need, and you need to build your squads up. When you're doing missions, when you're doing your quests, let's just go back in here. Um, one good thing to look for is ones that uh, give you survivor XP. So if you look at your hero stats there, no, nope, schematics, no. So I tend to, you know, just go through a lot of these and just see if I can find anything with survivor XP. So I'll tell you what, let's go on the map. This is a good place to look. So if I go to Plankton over here. Now look at the missions, I think it was this one. So this one here, look, Survivor XP and Schematic XP. Now this is the one that I want, Survivor XP. The best missions for me are the ones that give you Survivor XP and Hero XP. Um, but ultimately, like I said, that's what you're looking for, so the actual squads. Now, if we go to Research, so you go to Skills, and we go in the Research tier. Now, this will also bump your hero up. A lot of the things in Research, look, Offense plus two. You saw we were talking about hundreds um, in the earlier screen, so when we look on here, on the hero, a lot of these buffs are going up in like the hundreds, so if you go to squads, this is buffing it by 217. So if you just put that into perspective, looking at the research tree, you know, giving yourself plus two offense is not really all that much. Where it comes from is these slots, so when you're looking at your um, research tiers, what you want is these four blocks here, this is tier one, these are the four most important ones, because these are going to give you huge boosts, and then when you go to tier two in the research tree, same again, what you want to work towards is, I've got these two here, look, so these are the two squares I want, and now what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to work down here, because I want to get these two next, so a think tank squad slot, and a gadgeteer squad slot, so squads are massively underrated a lot of the time when people are thinking about leveling, and as I said, they shouldn't really be overlooked, it's absolutely huge and it's a massive part of the game um, that you can't miss out on there, so just quickly going into the squads then, so only take a second, uh, I'll go into this one just because we've got, um, in fact let's use this one, so what we've got in here, look, so what you want to do is you need the offense on there, so slot survivors into fire team alpha to increase the offense of the uh, and home base power. So it'll put a little bit into here as well, and it'll also boost your offense in your actual hero squad that we looked at earlier. So what you need to do there is you need to get the actual leader. When you pick a leader, they just got to have this little crown here, you know, and then the leader's got to kind of match personality match. If you look on there, that's what the personality is, which is this little bit on the card here, this little symbol. So if we look on there, and then if we go across to the others, what I'm trying to do now is actually match the personality of my uh, fire team with my leader. So this is what I'm looking for here. So that symbol there has got to match on each one. Now also you can get extra bonuses as well. So if you want to get health bonus, you look, you can match the hearts, and I need to match two of two hearts, and that gives me a 5% five, uh, 5 health bonus, which I've got down here, look. So that's actually, because I've matched them two up, that actually works down there. Now, if you look back on here, when I go back to my hero now, what you will see is the health bonus uh, is actually on there, as uh, on the squad, sorry. The health bonus is actually on there as well. So you've actually got, look, plus fortitude, 139, 181, 217, 126, but the health bonus is there, look. So that's what I'm getting. Just from that one fire team, I'm getting 5%. Now... Once you've filled all these guys up, you can imagine, and if you get them all matching up right with all the personalities right, you can see there, look, I've got all the same personalities matched up. 5% shield regen. So what I'm looking to do is, as you unlock more of these and you get the personalities matched up, then that works better. If you look in this one, in the core of engineering, what you will find is I've put blue people in here because, mostly because, it matches up. Do you know? So it actually matches the, the uh, personality much, much better than what everything else does. So in fact, if I take this one out now, because I've uh, I've actually got someone since then. Now this guy I'll match, because he's got a match for here. 
So he's got a match for the uh, for the personality type of our leader, but he's got a shield. So I could get a shield bonus. Now the only difference is the, the survivor that I had in before, they've got the little battery symbol there, which is my shield regen bonus. So I'm going to stick with that for now. But it's not always the it's not always the the top. Um, you know, it's not always the rarest card that gives you the boost. If you look there, look, 2,743 shields. And if I take that one out, it's not enough of a difference to, to warrant the, the change. The card's a little bit rarer. It gives me a bit of a boost. But I want the shield regen, so I'm going to leave that one on there. So that's pretty much everything, you know. So all the perks that you get on there. So you can see the bonuses that you get on there. These are the fort stats that you get. But your hero, like I said, the, the real way to level him up is to go through your squads. Uh, and obviously put lots and lots of work into your skill trees and open up the squads. Uh, and via research tree and open up that way. And then that's the best way to level your character in Fortnite. You'll actually be a lot, lot stronger that way. And as I said earlier, don't forget, you know, the final tip is when you're doing your quests and when you're looking at the map and you're looking for things to do, try and go for this survivor XP because this is what's going to actually make the difference between um, you leveling up your actual squad members as well. So if you go into squad, just quickly show you before we end the video there. And if I go in and I go to this guy here and I go to upgrade him, see, I can actually evolve him now. So he's max level, he's 10 of 10. You know, so he's only got so much perks, but if I evolve this guy now and confirm evolution, pure drop of rain, look, survivor XP, I do loads of those, you can see I've got excess XP there, and the training manual, confirm that level up, you know, and that's it, and now I can level him up to level 20, and he's going to have extra perks and extra things uh, that he can give, and he'll, he'll give, look, a massive boost there now, because I've leveled him up, and if I level him up again, so 7224, and if I just level him up one more time, just to show you guys, purely for science. Yep, and we come back again, and it goes up even further. And then when I get back into my hero, you can see there, look, it's just ramping up. And your, your, survivors, your survivor squads and your, you know, your squads and your research are definitely the way forward to level in the game. Okay, then guys, that's pretty much everything you've got. If you stick to those tips, like I said, you'll not go far wrong and you'll always be where you need to be in Fortnite. You'll have better heroes, you'll have stronger heroes, you'll be able to take more damage, and hopefully you'll be able to last a lot longer and have more fun in the game. So, I've been Latana. If you guys aren't part of the Latana Army channel already, make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any more tips, drop me, uh, drop me your notes in the comments. I'd love to hear what you say about it and the way that you level your characters. But until next time, take care, guys.